Hail and well met everyone, Captain Deadeye is back with you with more World of Warcraft Wrath of the Lich King Classic and our Hardcore Undead Warrior. Hope everyone is doing well today, thank you so much for clicking on the video and spending just a few moments of your day with me. Uh, we are over in the Undercity, I flew here after our last episode to, and I wanted to start here today. Uh, there is a quest I want to pick up here uh, and we're going to train our level 40 skills. So the quest is uh, right here, it, or, I'm sorry not right there, let's see, It's uh, where is it? There's a quest here for Arathi. I'm not sure where it is. I thought there was. Maybe it's lower level than we are. Oh, no, it's right here. To steal from thieves. It's level 36, but we're going to try it anyways. The harlot, the swine. Kanata still lives, her family healthy and prospering while I suffer. Forsaken indeed. My family is gone. Taken by the plague. Our estate also forfeit. Looted and burned during the war. And after all that, her and her lousy children had the audacity to steal the only precious belongings I had left. I don't care about the things they stole anymore. What I want now are their heads. Kill them for me. Go to the Dabari farmstead in Arathi, northeast of Refuge Point. Watch okay. Your back. Yeah, so we can definitely do that. That's that's an easy one. That's a 36. We're level 40. We should be fine there. And you uh All right, let's see what we have in the bank here. I need to put some things in here, I think. Um lots of briar thorn. We could do yeah, we could make some more elixirs of agility. Let's do that. We don't have any life root for that. We need a gold thorn. Okay. Let's see. I have some leaded vials. We have leaded vials. Okay. And now we're up to imbued. I know we're up to leaded. The imbued vials is what I bought that I did not mean to. So we'll drop those in the bank. Let's see. We have a those. Thundering charm. Mana potion. Don't need that. We'll sell that. Chanted water. I don't need that. We can sell. All of this stuff up here we can sell. Let's see. Let's drop this King's Blood in the bank. And Bruise Weed. Strangle Kelp we'll hold on to because we can make the uh, Elixir of Agility with those. Kazgar's Whisker we can drop in there for now. Um, do, 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 do. do I want to drop a stack of these in there? No. I think once I get a, once I get a full stack we'll just sell those. Or I, once I get superior, we can sell those. Yeah, I'll just hold on to them for now. And silk, we're... Let's go ahead and create all of these. Fade leaf's going in. Wild steel bloom, I don't think we need that. Grave moss is going in. There we go. Okay. I think we're good for now. Watch your back. What the heck? It's weird. Okay. Now to go train our our level 40 skills. I wish I could learn fast riding, but I can't afford it. I need 60 gold for that, and we're at 31 right now. So that's kind of unfortunate. I could buy them out. It's 10 gold. I may run out to Brill just to see... Really quick, just to make sure it's not discounted. Because we're... Uh, what are we with these guys? What are we with the Undercity? Um, yeah, we're revered, so I don't know. What the warrior's role is one of protection. Uh, Rind, yes, Justice thank you. We'll take that. Compatriots in battle, we must also protect the interests Bill of the will, no, nope. execute, yes. Uh, I may do heroic strike, we'll see. Cleave, yeah, let's go ahead and pick that up. Berserker Stance, Berserker Stance, Shield Slam, Shield Wall, Stance Mastery, Disarm, Defensive Stance. That does not help me at all. Ooh, we can learn Plate. I forgot about Plate. That makes sense. Yeah, we'll go ahead and learn Heroic Strike. I don't really use it that much, but we'll go ahead and pick it up. And I just lost 10 gold. That was fun. Yikes. Yikes. Okay. Rend rank five. Rend rank five. Okay. 
execute three. Okay, yeah, we're good there. All right, let's sell some stuff. Yeah, definitely not going to be able to afford the mount now. <laughs> definitely not. I have exactly what you need. Got plenty of cheese. Go ahead and sell that, sell that leaded vial. Well, probably should have held on to that for now. Let's head up the alchemy trainer and see if there's anything I can learn from there. What level are we? I may have passed 210. We'll see. Same with first aid. See, I still have yet... I don't know why it did not train me up above 225. I don't remember where the first aid trainer is. I don't think I could train here, though. I'm pretty sure I have to go to that guy to do it. The guy in Arathi. I don't know why I sold that leaded vial. That was stupid. And Aaron, level 45. The Royal Apothecary Society needs your assistance. Listen closely and both of us may profit from my plan. Apothecary Kiever in the next room may be touched, but his research does potentially bear fruit if it were pursued by a clever researcher. Fortunately, I am such a researcher. I want you to take this purchase order to Alessandro Luca, the proprietor of Blue Moon Odds and Ends. He'll give you a testing kit. When you have it, bring it back to me and I'll outline your task in detail. Alright, so we just spent four gold on that. I'm losing gold like crazy. Gold Thorn, Elixir, Greater Defense. Take that. Greater Mana Potion. I don't really need that. I don't really want to waste money on it. There's 50 fire damage to any enemy within 5 yard radius around the caster every 3 seconds. Hmm. Interesting. When do we learn... Yeah, Superior Healing. Here we go. Sungrass, Cadgar's Whisker, and Crystal Vial. Okay, Sungrass. Don't know where I get Sungrass. I think it's in... Um, maybe Feralus is where Sungrass is. Or maybe down in uh, Tanaris. Okay. Greater mana potion. Gold thorn for that. These are still yellow too, so we should be okay for now. We need gold thorn for sure, and wild steel bloom. Uh, okay. Yeah, I just spent a ton of gold. I went ahead and picked up that quest, even though it was level 45, because we could, all it is is just an errand to run over here. At least this first quest. may not be much XP, but it's something. Speak. Welcome to Blue Moon Odds and Ends, adventurer. If you yeah, have any 550. questions, please let me know. Ah, Zinger needs a kit, does she? It saddens me that Zinger does not choose to grace myself with her sweet presence. Very well, let me procure a kit for you. The kit is ready, adventurer. No doubt that Apothecary Zinja will want this as soon as possible. Take it to her without delay, and let her know that I will add the cost of the kit to the Society's tab. Also, please extend to her my warmest salutations. Well, don't just stand there. Such is the life of a simple courier, yes? Good. It pleases me to be working with someone who takes pride in not wasting my time. After I make some adjustments to this kit, you'll be ready to head out into the field. You'll be using it to collect some vital data to the task at hand. It will take just a moment for me to finish the modifications. While yes. you are waiting, you should probably start thinking about what you'd like to bring to the desert with you. Yes, I said the desert. You will be headed to the Tanaris Desert, testing the tissue consistency of the basilisk, we'll pick it up scorpids, and for now, and then we'll just, we'll just bear, hold it in our inventory. Obtain tissue samples and use them with the testing kit in tow. Expect a chunk of the samples to fail. I need eight acceptable samples of each creature type. In addition, the goblins of Gadgetson have a power source that must be used with this kind of modified kit. Speak to Chief Engineer Bilgewizzle and acquire one for the kit. 
Return to me only when you are successful. Okay, back to Arathi now. Got a few herbs up here to collect. Including a gold thorn, which we desperately need. Uh, the other thing we need to do is collect the uh, Thundering Key, which we have not done yet, and we, it's right next to the farm we need to go to as well. Uh, we also need to go back to Stromgard and uh, work on those quests. They're level 40. Oh crap, that's an inventory slot. Dang it. I didn't realize that. Alright, that farm we need is right here, so those guys are going to be right here. The Thundering Key is right there, so we'll pick those up and then we'll make our way over to Stromgard. Let's see, let's do, uh, let's do armor this time and then we'll throw on uh, agility as well. There we go. Inside this far in this barn, I'm not sure. We're gonna find out. Labor, labor, labor. Nope. And we're uh, AOE farming over here. That's fun. I bet you just killed the guy I need. I bet he was standing right here too. Okay, disarm. Jeez, that was a long disarm. I was still dodging everything or countering everything even though I didn't have a weapon out. Yeah, he's damn paladin and a uh, mage down here. AoE grinding. Spider. Oh, their heads take up in a spot of my inventory as well. That sucks. Two paladins. Great. Uh, we'll have to come back. That annoys me. Okay, let's go over here to the Thundering Exiles. Or the Thundering um, Charm guys. Thundering Key, that's what I'm looking for. We did add to these guys on my shaman, but hopefully we won't on this guy. They do hit hard, I'll have to say. Yeah. 
shock on me, I guess. Come on. Oh, I didn't mean to waste that. Take these guys around the outside in case I need to run. I don't want to get caught by them. Let's see, do I have a banishing exit? Let's see. Yep, I do. Okay, perfect. I'm sure I'll drop it right there for now. Try to pull this guy out. That's what I really like to do. Or not, he's just gonna stand there. He's dead. Perfect. Let's eat really quick. And now on to Stromgard. And these are level 40 quests, so this this may be a little tough area. We'll see. I'm hoping we'll hit level 41 today. We'll we'll try it for sure. We have to kill Fosrek later as, as part of this quest as well. Part of the Alliance quest in this zone, you have to kill these guys. Um, you have to get the message that she's carrying. Oh, wait a second. What's this down here? Stones are binding complete. Oh, we have to take it down here. Well, good thing we're headed this direction. I remember coming here on my shaman now. Wow, that execute did nothing to him. Stunt sucks too. Majorel speaks to the stone. You have done it. You have opened the stones of binding. I can feel the shackles about me loosen, and the freedom draws ever closer. You are noble warriors, and got my rescuer. Opening the stones of binding, loosening. Uh, I'm just going to do this. We have to. Bozrek was just here. Uh, I don't know if we're going to be able to kill him at level 40, though. All right, we just saw him, though. We could give it a shot. If we have to run, we run. There he is. Oh, he has friends. I forgot he has friends. Yeah, we're not going to do that yet. <laughs> we're definitely not on a hardcore character. If it was just the giant, I'd probably be okay. But with... Uh, and he's a, is he a little 42? Ah. I think he's level 42. We'll have to come back. 
We have to go down to Stranglethorn for a while and then come back and we'll kill him. I think I abandoned that quest on uh, my shaman. I don't remember doing it. It still pisses me off about first aid. Now we're stuck. Alright, let's see if we can uh, pull the one of these guys without pulling both of them. Holy cow, already got five signal fragments from those guys? Jeez, he dropped four and that one dropped three. <laughs> wow, that was quick. Okay, on to the ogres. I thought that was going to be, I'm going to have to farm those, but they, I mean, I, not really. <laughs> Two guys and I got them both. Okay. Oh, you know what I meant to do when I was in under, under City is I meant to uh, respect our talents because I wanted to get rid of Mortal Strike. I will try to go do that after this episode because I, I just forgot about that. I was going to spend another gold to do that. Pat comes over here, I'm gonna hit him. I'm trying to get him away from that shaman. I don't want the shaman healing him. Nice, two crits in a row. Got a crit off Heroic Strike and Victory Rush. Or not Victory Rush, um, Overpower. These guys are, are uh, uh, Paladins. Almost said Shamans. They're Paladins. I 
I can be using um, Demoralizing Shout a little more because I want to make sure they're reducing their attack power so they don't get so many uh, hits and crits on me. In combat. All right, there's that. Uh, we need Oracolor's hit. There he is, Oracolor. Right, let's uh, let's eat this guy really quick. He's got two lords with him, so this should be interesting. Try to pull one of them off. I don't know if I'll get them both or not. And he's got a shaman with him too. Let's take out all of these. Oh, foul bell. It's a rare. Oh shit, he's a relite. I did not realize he was an elite. Yeah, we're not going to... Uh, sorry, buddy. We're not going to kill you. And he's 42 at that. Damn it! Hit me with poison. How did he hit me with poison that far back? Okay, we're good. Shoo! That scared me. I did not see... All I saw was rare. I did not see rare elite until I'd already attacked him. I'm like, oh, not good. And this is definitely not good. Guy's all in a hurry. Well, he has a he has a totem too. Okay, let's um, let's see if I can pull this guy. Let's see if I can pull him off of him. Good. Just what I wanted. Now we're going to eat really quick, and we're going to go straight for Orkalar. And of course I miss. Miss? Are you serious? Yeah, we're good. We're good.
All right. Well, that went well. I can't believe I got those human uh, signets as fast as we did. That was crazy. Get two, kill two guys, and they drop seven of them. And we'll fight our way out of here. XP's XP. We'll take it. Oh, now, come on. I was far enough away from that guy. These trolls are right here. Like there's there's like two trolls helping the uh, ogres. Okay, guys, that's perfect. Hopefully those two quests will level us up. We'll see. Or actually three quests. Nice. Yeah, we'll definitely level up here. Comes 41. Sweet. Um, you know, over on my undead or over on my uh, warlock, now that we've hit 50, it's man, it's it's really turned into a, a slow crawl with XP uh, versus like this level. I mean, it's not too bad. We, we leveled pretty quick here this morning. We were only about a half a bar, maybe a little over. I'm really happy with our build, um, the arms build that we have going, because, I mean, three or four hits and things are dying. It's really, really nice. Now, they're, they are lower level than we are, and that's okay. Um, I need to get down to, I forgot about these things, but these are all under water quests, and I really don't want to do that. Uh, well, I guess I could. I'm undead. I'm undead. It's not as hard as any other character. There's Naga down there, and we have to collect some, um, like, Night Elf charms that were, like, sunken underwater. I think it's Night Elf. And then something else. Yeah, Sunken Treasure, Drowned in Sorrows. One is, um, you have to escort, like, a gnome into a cave and defend him while he extracts some ancient knowledge or something from a stone that's in the cave. There's our buddy Frozrick again. Seven ninety five. I think that's my best crit yet. That was on execute. Yeah, thirty nine, a forty two, giant, forty, a forty. What's this guy? Another forty. Yes, he has two level forties and a thirty nine friend, and he's a level forty two giant that hits extremely hard. No, <laughs> no. Spider, fly.
Oh, I should have ran back by that farmstead to see if these guys were back up. Oh, I did not do that. Hello, man. Be seeing ya. What you want? Okie dokie. I'm gonna pop in here real quick, talk to the surgeon again. You have learned all that I am able to teach you at this time, Dr. Adventurer. Return to me when you're practicing. Well, considering you didn't teach me anything, train you in the ways that doesn't help me. Medicinal arts. That really sucks. Greetings. You have done me a great service, Adventurer. Okay, all we gotta know do is sword. My husband's life and the We're gonna lose a shadow bolt, but that's okay. I'll take three more damage. another day because of your deeds. Please take this as a reward for your courage. Nice. Oh, is that a one-handed sword? Crap. You know what? I'm an idiot. I think I just lost the, uh, the achievement. I did not mean to equip that. Let's see. Hang on. Let me see. Complete the hardcore challenge without a, at any point equipping mail or plate armor or shit. Okay, we've already done that. Never mind. Completing the hardcore challenge without at any point wielding a two-handed melee weapon. If your race starts with a melee a two-handed weapon. Okay, never mind. It's all right. Complete the hardcore challenge at, without at any point using a stance other than battle stance, switching to defensive stance or berserker stance. It's not a lot. Okay, so we're doing that. We're, we have battle stance now. Um, I thought there was a quest to where you're not supposed to equip more than one weapon no talents that would be insane no armor no amulets no rings no trinkets yeah come on without at any point repairing the durability of an item. Nope. Without at any point using the bank or a hearthstone. Wow, that would be tough too. Without at any point equipping anything other than the white and gray items. In a group of two, we're not doing that. Without at any point killing an NPC or type humanoid. Huh. Without completing a quest. Good lord. First person view. That's so stupid. Jumping in a group for a dungeon. Well, hey. Uh, we might be... We might, we'll get that one without joining in a group for a dungeon. We'll probably get that because I'm not going to join any dungeons. Um, hopefully we'll get there with this character. I'm in really enjoying this warrior. Uh, do not leave the continent on which your character started, okay? Down at any point using a mount, flight path, portal, zeppelins and ships can be used. Uh, we already used talent points, and that's crazy. Okay, so as long as, I think we're good. As long as we don't, um... I just thought there was one... Yeah, we're over that. Okay. Alright, so as long as we don't change stances, I think we're good. I, I thought there was a, a, another one for that, but that's okay. Greetings, uh, for using a two-handed weapon. Spirits be with you, man. Although they can barely be said to be to control Stromgard, let alone the whole Arathi Highlands, the human prince trots the remains of his cavalry over the countryside. I can't understand why he does it, but who who but who understands the way of humans think? Hmm. Whatever his reasoning, more importantly, he has given one of his sig sigils to Lieutenant Valor Call, their cavalry leader. Locate him and bring his sigil back to me. Be seeing 
Sigil of Aura Thor. Oh, he pats as well from here through refugee over to there. Okay. I think that's a. I think he um, has other guys with him also. The oh, there we go. 30. Lessened. Sweet. And I am that's sure even more than the one handed. All right, back to an axe. Sweet. All right, let's sell some things here. Greetings. Sell that, sell that. Alright, sweet. String. Strength and honor. Here. Okay, let's go find uh, hopefully this we can find Aura Thor. I think he's on a mount. That comes out of Refugee Point. I know I've seen him before. Now we leveled up. Let's get a talent point in here. Let's see. Let's do... Um... Why am I flashing this morning? I don't understand that. I noticed that earlier. Let's do strength of arms, and then I'll put another. I may put more, two more into parry, and then another one into strength of arms. All right, we're gonna go back up here to the farmstead. Get these other two, um, other three guys. If those paladins aren't uh, farming that again. Man, I really wanted to kill that rare elite earlier. I just didn't realize he was an elite. Uh... That annoys me. I wanted him. Could have dropped something good for us. He's level 42. 40 as well, not level 42. Attack the raptor, please. Thank you. don't see this guy. Bardell's head. Bardell. Let's go over here to look for these other two. Shows he's right here. Maybe he's inside. This we looked inside this barn last time. He wasn't there. Labor, labor, labor. All of these guys are laborers. These guys aren't here either. The hey, hammer falls under attack. That's interesting. I wonder if somebody just came through here and killed these guys.
I bet that's what happened. I bet someone just just wiped these guys out. All right, let's go look for the horse, uh, the, the the rider that we need. We'll stay away from Refugee Point. He's supposed to spawn here and then work his way toward uh, Stromgard. Now, I'm pretty sure he's on a mount. I'm almost positive I've seen him before. I did not realize he was a horde quest, though. Makes sense that the Alliance have a... Uh, Actually, I think he has friends, too. Just like the Courier. I think it's the same thing. He has a couple guys that ride with him. So we're probably not going to be able to do this. We may have to head on down to a uh, uh, Stranglethorn Vale. Ooh, Goldthorn. Sweet. There's some more. I think we're basically getting to the point now with the uh, the questing here that we're we're running out of quests. I think it's time to move on. I really want to finish this one, but that annoys me. I don't know why the uh, why they're not spawning, or someone just like I said just wiped them out before we got there. It could have been those same paladins, you know. They they could have been. Um, I could have been just hanging around there, and when, right before I got there, they left. I'm not sure. Oh, we could go down here and do this. I forgot about this. Um, let's see if they're on the road here. Oh, there they are. Yep, see, level 37, a 38. Actually, I think we may be able to take these guys. Look at that, guys. Hell yeah. Nice. Well, that worked. Uh, let's go down here and pick up these other quests from the pirates. I think we have to go across here. This cave is not open. In Cataclysm, they open it up from the other side. But this time, you have to go around this way. Raptor. Now I'll take that fade leaf. And see, without Questy, how would you know to come down here? Seriously. You know, just exploring the world, I guess, you would find it, but... I don't know. I'm pretty sure we go this way. I feel like there's a cave over here to my left somewhere that we go through. Yep, right there it is. That's what I thought. We may not have time to do all of this because we're nearing our hour mark.
Oh, it doesn't give me any XP. That's alright. I was thinking it did, but it doesn't. Lanto! Uh, talk to Captain uh, Lolo. He's a tiny undead. Always on the lookout, Lolo is. Welcome to Fall Deer's Cove. Captain O'Breen said we should be only here for a few hours, just long enough to gather treasure and get back to Booty Bay. But Lolo thinks we're going to be here a lot longer than that. We lost the other two ships in our formation. Poor spirit of Silver Pine and the Maiden... Maiden... Maldi it is Maiden's Folly. On the bottom of the sea, they rest now. Lolo suggests you talk to Captain O'Breen if you plan on sticking around here. Hey. What's going on here? Die, Naga. First mate, where's the captain? Must be on the ship. Nope, not here. Where's this guy? Did I pass him up? Did the Naga kill him? Where the hell is this guy? It shows he's right here. I bet the Naga killed him. Might have to wait till he respawns. Now one of these guys had a quest last time. Yes, he's sunken treasure. Why can't I pick it up? I must have to talk to the captain first. Huh. That really sucks. Hmm. Weird. I didn't know the Naga could kill the captain. All right, we're going to hang out here for just a minute. We'll see if he respawns. Hopefully he does. And he gives us the uh, ability to pick up these other quests. I guess I should attack the uh, Naga when I first got here to keep them from killing the captain. I didn't miss him up top, did I? Nope. That's not the captain. He's Deki Moshe. Deckhand. There he is. I guess I did kill the captain. Can I help you? Land ho! Ahoy, matey! Twas a terrible, uh, twas a horrible mess. Seahorn will have my ship if he finds out what if he finds out what went down. One of the professor's contraptions indicated a lost treasure was near this cove. I brought the Heartbringer into dock and signaled for the spirit of Silver Pine and the Maiden's Folly to follow suit. Then the sea rumbled, the tides lowered, and the two ships crashed into the reef. It's not just reef; something's down there. Help my crew out, and you'll be rewarded handsomely. For the alliance. O'Brien led the ships into the cove. We were certain this is where the treasure could be found. The Harbinger docked safely, but as the Maiden's folly and spirit of Silverpine approached, the tides began to lower. Strangest thing I've ever seen. Those two ships ran aground into something. Some sort of temple in the reef. They sank so quickly was quite a tragedy. We need to retrieve their logs as well as their charts before we leave. We can't leave that information behind for prying eyes. All right. Ah, it is a horrible life. I should be in a watery grave right now, not sitting here by the fire, breathing fresh air. The crew tried so hard to save my beautiful maiden's folly. Bless the boys, bless their hearts. O'Brien made it to shore safely, but we weren't so lucky. The seas just sank on us, I swear. One second we're afloat, and the next water is rushing in. And those beasts killed all the survivors. Horrible naga scum. 
I went black and ended up here saved. I want those beasts dead. Now that we are full-fledged Blackwater Raiders, it is our job to help Mr. O'Brien locate the lost elven treasure. It is next to impossible to find the gems in the Dark Sea without aid. The Doctor has constructed some goggles that will help. He needs the goggles charged with the energy derived from the enchanted stone in the cave just up the hill. But the cave is cursed! When we get close, we get ambushed. Defend me, and I can harness the energy from the stone into the goggles. Okay, he comes up here and activates his stone to uh, charge his goggles. And I think there's two water elementals that pop out. We should be fine because they do melee damage. They're not ranged. And uh, we'll just be able to... Uh, uh, hopefully retaliation will help with that. I think what I want to do is let's go back over here to the entrance. And then once he activates it and they come out, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll rush in or charge in. Alright, get to it, Professor. Yep, here we go. Oh, they're level 40. And yeah, we're good. I could have killed him without lifeblood, but I went ahead and popped it anyways just to make sure we're, we're okay. Now, well done, adventurer! The treasure has been on the seafloor so long that the gems have calcified into thick stone, but the power harnessed in these goggles will allow you to locate them easily. A little gnomish ingenuity goes a long way. So borrow the goggles of gem hunting adventurer and see if you can collect some of the lost treasure for Captain O'Green. I'd swim down there myself, but, um, well, I have important scientific business to tend to up on the safe, dry land. Uh, yeah. Alright guys, we're going to call it an episode here. Thank you so much for joining me. I really do appreciate it. I uh, hope everyone enjoyed this episode. Come back tomorrow for more hardcore undead warrior action and we'll pick it up right here. Uh, until tomorrow, hope everyone has a great day. Take care of yourselves, take care of each other, and we'll see you next time.